Hey guys, Ash here from FTJ by C4 Retech and today I'm going to show you an app that can give you navigation gestures on just about any phone, no matter old or new. And that too, without requirement of root access. So let's go ahead, get this video started. FTJ is new and needs your love, so go on, ring that damn bell. Over the last few months, we've seen that most smartphone manufacturers have enabled some type of navigational gestures into their new user interfaces. Now, following in the footsteps of the iPhone 10, we've had OnePlus, Huawei, Oppo, Vivo, and now even Samsung implement gesture support into their latest software iterations. But what about all those older devices? Well, they still have to depend on the navigational buttons to, well, navigate their interfaces. But that's just not right, is it? Well, that's why we have this app from the good folks over at XDA, Navigation Gestures. So it can work on any device. As you can see, we have it installed on our Galaxy A30 running on One UI, on our OnePlus 5 running Oxygen OS, and we tested it out on quite a few other devices as well, the older ones too. So when it comes to compatibility, Navigation Gestures is quite good, although in some cases you do end up with a few glitches here and there, but predominantly it works. Now enough about the looks though, let's now jump into the installation process. This one is a bit complicated and it does need a bit of knowledge about ADB to get it working. However, the app points you in the right direction through a helpful YouTube video and you can follow along that one pretty easily. We'll also leave instructions as well as download links in the description below if you need some help. Okay, enough chit chat then, let's find out how this app works. So you get this pill at the bottom and you can use this as one button or have it split into three for even more functionality. We found it easier and more intuitive when the pill was whole, so that's how we kept it most of the time. So you can tap on the pill like this, we set it to go home, double tap which we set to quick switch and tap and hold to open Google Assistant. Now here's the most interesting bit, you can customize each one of these functions to do anything you want to and that's not all. You have a ton of swipe gestures. You can swipe up or to the left or right. And then there's another set where you can swipe and hold. Add to that, you can swipe down as well. No hold there though. So in total, 10 gesture operations, and that's just with a single pill button configuration. Split it into three, and you get a whopping 15 gestures. Of course, that leads to the question, with so many gestures, what exactly can the pill do? Well, on the free version of the app, you can configure it to do the basic navigation functions, home, multitasking, back, quick switch, Google Assistant, split screen multitasking. With the premium version though, you get a laundry list of features. Too many to read out, so I'm just gonna scroll through them here. Now in India, the premium version costs 130 rupees at the time of shooting this video, so it is expensive. I would highly suggest that you check out the free version and make sure the app is useful for you before you make the purchase. Now, I would like to talk about one of the premium options that really caught my eye. At the very end, you can find one called Tasker Event. Now, if any of you are unfamiliar with what Tasker is and what it can do, well, check out this video that we made a while ago on C4E Tech, but basically what this means is that you can pretty much do anything on your phone with just one gesture. So that's a really powerful integration right there. So the app works well and is compatible across all devices, but how about the looks? Well, the pill button is immensely configurable and you can have it look and appear almost anywhere you want it to. In fact, you can even make it disappear like it does by default when you switch to the split pill mode. The best part of all this is that all the aesthetic customizations are present in the free variant so you can check them out and tweak them to your heart's content. And then there's more. You can also customize how the pill behaves. Everything from haptic feedback to per app blacklisting is present here. And I have to say the sheer amount of customization that the app offers, they simply blew me away. So that's basically what we think about the Navigation Gestures app from XDA. It's a must try if you ask me. So what do you think about this app? Are you gonna try it out? Let me know if you do try it out. Let me know what your uh, thoughts about this are. Now, if you did find this video interesting, do smash that like button and let us know. I will try to do more similar videos in the future. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon if you haven't already. And if you've not checked out these videos yet, go ahead, do that. Maybe you'll find it interesting. 
So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.